What's up guys? For today's video, I'm back out here in the John boat and I got a whole day ahead of me of work I'm trying to get done. The main things I want to accomplish today are to figure out the side paneling for the walls and get started on a big project I'm trying to get done by the end of the month. This is the wood that I had them cut for me. This was a quarter inch plywood. It was a four by eight sheet and I had them cut it to the height that I needed. The main part I'm trying to figure out is how to account for the slope right here so I can trim this area. I did 17 inches, which should put this about right here, which I'm pretty happy with. All right, so I got my top corner measurements complete. Uh, this is the overhang that's gonna go on top of the front bench. This is the section that needs to get cut off. I measured the front to back of the overhang and then the rise of the overhang. So this is gonna get me close and then I may have to trim um, some of the corner over here to account for the slope. It's gonna be a slight slope up. So I'm gonna deal with that after I get this section cut here. All right, so that cut is pretty close to what I'm looking to do. I'm gonna go ahead and fit this in the boat and see if it fits and then see what we got to do about that bottom angle. If I didn't record the videos, I'd probably have this boat done in half the time, but there's no fun in that. Okay, we're looking pretty good. All right, so I think I just need to come down about an inch on the one side here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that cut real quick and then we'll, we'll fit it back in. All right. For the most part, we're completely to the floor. So now I gotta trim this angle right here. All right, so to get this angle set for the front bench, I had to account for a couple different angles. Um, the first angle was the flatness of the floor up into the rise of the floor. Um, I accomplished that by taking the top of the rise, which was three quarters. I measured up and then I drew a, an angle down to where the rise starts, which was actually right at the brace. So that was pretty easy to do. That was just one cut, went and did that. Um, right towards the top of the front bench on the floor, there's a little bit more of a steeper rise. So I just used the orbital sander to sand up a little bit of the rise right there. And then everything else just seems to be fitting. So let's go ahead and test fit it one last time before we move on. Yeah, I mean, that looks really good. All right, so with this side done, I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a template for the other side. Hopefully I can do them. Actually, I'll just try this piece on the other side and see if that works. And then if it does, I'll use this as a template. And if not, I'll make the adjustments that I need. Oh, it fits even better over here. <laughs> I'm gonna use this as a template, get the other piece cut to match and then I'll have the side panels done. And then I think it's gonna be time to start uh, unboxing some things and start working on the next project. So let's get this cut and we'll go from there. Yep, this that looks good. No issues, all right. All right, so right now I am marking out where the ribs are. I use the openings of the bottom of the floor here to find the sides of the ribs. Mark that out, I'm drawing lines up. What I'm gonna do after that. Is put some mounting holes in the wood and then make sure that it lines up with the ribs before I actually drill into the ribs. I don't mind if there's an extra hole in the wood but I don't want any extra holes in the boat, especially when we're this close to the side wall. Now I'm just going to make sure that all those holes line up with the ribs. So I got my shoe wedged in the side there to make sure this stays in place. I'm just going to put pressure with my foot to make sure it's up against the wall. I checked all the drill holes I put into the wood to make sure it matches up with the rib and it does. So I'm going to go ahead and make my mounting holes. I got them right in the centers of the ribs now. So that looks really good. The 
one thing I've been super excited about doing with the boat is instead of having this be a tiller boat, I was gonna set this up for a console. With the new outboard comes a whole bunch of work that I need to get done really, really soon. I need to get a side console installed, uh, basically kind of midway through the boat. Like I said, the bench, bench seats and the console, those are the biggest ones to know what size steering cables to get and what size control cables to get. I've also never mounted an outboard setup for controls before. I've done all the YouTube research I can on it. I think I have a pretty good grasp on how it's gonna work. The big thing though that I need to figure out is how I'm gonna raise the, the long shaft motor to fit on my transom. Um, what I have ordered is a five inch riser. It's gonna basically bolt to the back of the boat and it's just gonna come up five inches off the transom, which is gonna match a 20 inch transom, which is what the boat was made for. So I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be a Yamaha F25. Uh, I went with this one specifically because it is super, super light. I think it's 128 pounds for a 25 horsepower. Uh, four stroke. So that's the exciting news. We're getting an outboard with controls. I'm going to have a three person bench seat in the back here. It's going to have um, a side console. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. If you guys go back to my channel, I used to have a Bass Tracker Classic. Then we moved up here to Ohio. Uh, we were in a place that just the fishing was horrible. We weren't able to do anything. And the prices with uh, COVID went skyrocketing. And I wound up reselling the boat for, for more than I paid for it. So it just seemed like for something I wasn't using the right decision at the time. But ever since then, I have regretted selling that boat because I absolutely loved it. So my idea now for this boat, which was kind of how I was doing it in the beginning, but I've been going back and forth with different things, is that I'm gonna model this boat after the Classic that I used to have. So if you guys Google Bass Tracker Classic XL, um, and you look at it in the black version, that's basically the idea I'm going for. And if you look at that, it's fully carpeted, it has um, the side console, it's got this, the rod storage the way I'm doing. Um, I'm doing a couple different things differently, but like that's the overall style I'm going for. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get these uh, seats out of the box, and I think you might understand why I'm leaning towards carpet, because I think it's gonna match the seats really well. Hmm. All right, let's see what this one's first. I think this is gonna be the small one. So what this is gonna be is a three-person seat, but rather than being full three full seats, um, between the two middle seats is gonna be a jump seat. The cool thing is that this also doubles as a step. So this is the center seat. You guys can see that there. And like I said, when this uh, is folded down, this is actually a stepping platform. All right. Oh, this is plenty of room. Oh, awesome. All right, yeah, there you go. So I might space them out a little bit. I didn't realize I was gonna have um, so much room. They're also gonna be a lot lower to the ground. This is right now on the boxes they came in. Ideally, I would like them so when these fold down, they're within the height of the back bench with the deck on it. But I also gotta make sure it's not too low to actually sit on. I don't wanna be sitting on my butt. All right guys, well that's where I'm gonna end the video today for the side panels. This is gonna be my new plan for the boat. We're gonna be doing seats and a steering console and a motor that uses controls. So now I'm gonna start working on the platform for the seats. That's gonna be a whole separate video. Everything is fitting really, really nice. Now I just need to uh, get everything epoxied and sealed up. So if you guys found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. If you wanna follow along the John Book build, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.